All right, guys, so I'm going to talk you through filling out your student-led conference reflection. So the first page right here, you are going to give yourself a score of um, on a scale of one to five about how often you, th you do these things or you think you do these things. So the first one is, I bring a charged Chromebook to school every day. So circle on there, do you think you do that rarely as in number one, or do you make sure it's done every single day number five, or is it somewhere in the middle? I write my homework in a planner. I check my planner at home. I put all distractions away during class time. I complete my assignments on time. I try as hard as I can on assignments. If I do not score well on an assignment, I take an opportunity to redo it. I do not score, if I do not score well on a quiz, I take an opportunity to redo it. Okay, so go through, score yourselves one through five on each of those. Okay, so now that you've done that, your next step is I want you to reflect. So look at which numbers you scored yourself really high. So what did you give yourself a five on? And that's probably something you've done really well so far this year. So you're going to complete this sentence. Something I have done well so far this year is... And then because, why do you do that thing well? Like what motivates you to do it? Or why is it important to do it? And then down here, something that you need to work on. So this is maybe something you gave yourself a lower score on. What is something you need to improve this year? So something you need to work on. And then again, why? Why do you need to, to do that? So you're going to say, something I need to work on for this year is because. Okay, pause for a second. Fill in those sentences. All right, awesome. So now we're gonna jump off and you're going to choose three assignments in your notebook that you would like to show off to your guest. So you're gonna flip through that notebook and you're gonna pick three. Um, and you can also pick actually your torn maps that are gonna be up on the wall if you want that to be one of your assignment assignments, um, to just know that. But you're gonna put the title of the assignment. If you don't know what the title is, just give it a title, it doesn't actually matter. So put the title of the assignment, the page that you found that assignment, and then you're going to write two sentences about that assignment. I want to show off this assignment because, so why are you showing it during conferences? And something that I learned from this assignment was, what did you learn from this assignment? Okay, so go ahead and take a minute and fill that in with your um, with your three assignments and if you choose like your torn map um, you can put just for notebook page you can just put none or you can put on wall um, if you have like a quiz that you want to show off um, you don't actually have that quiz but you want to talk about it you can um, same thing put none and then put um, the quiz that you took that you did well on so you've got a little bit of flexibility if you need help figuring this out, please let, raise your hand and let me know. Okay, take a minute, fill out those three assignments that you want to talk about. Okay, so our next step is we're going to fill out a grade check. And for this, you're just going to go through, just like we would normally on a grade check, what's your overall letter grade right now in class? What's your overall grade percentage? And how many missing assignments do you have? And if you have missing assignments, I want you to list up to three of them. So what are your three biggest things that you need to get done? Okay, take a minute. Oh, and if you have no missing assignments, you can just write none in those boxes, and then you're good to go. Okay, so we've got one more section to fill out. We're going to set some goals for this school year. So this is your SMART goal. Um, we want it to be specific, measurable, actionable, relevant and timely. So I'm telling you the specific for this. I'm telling you that it's going to be for the second grading period in your history class. What makes it measurable so that you know whether you've met that goal or not is what percentage are you going to earn. So you don't have to do anything for this first box. This one I already did. You can leave that blank. But this one you need to fill in. So what percentage do you want to earn? Keeping in mind 90 and above is an A, 80 to 90, or 80 to 89 is a B, 
70 to 79 is a C, and I would say that's probably as low as you want to go for a goal. All right, so next we have um, actionable. It needs to be something that you can that you can do. So how are we going to make sure we do this? What are three things you're really going to focus on this grading period over these next couple of weeks to make sure you are meeting that goal of yours? So you're going to list out three things. One, two, three. And I want you to really think for our next one, what makes it relevant? What makes it important to you? Why are you willing to, to do this? Why are you willing to put in the work? So you're gonna finish this sentence right here. I am willing to put in the work for this grade because what, why? Are you doing it to make your little brother or sister proud? Are you doing it because you have a goal of going to high school uh, and doing well in high school? Do you wanna go to college? Do you wanna make your parents proud? Why are you willing to do the work to put in this, this um, to get this grade? Okay, and then the last part is the timely part. When are you going to meet this goal by? Well, the grading period ends on October 25th, so that is your end date. All right, once you've got that done, you have filled in your reflection. Nice job. Look up on the board to see what page to glue this in. All right, great job, guys.